Today's video is on binomial distribution and this topic is from probability distribution. So in this video, the question here is 10 coins are thrown simultaneously. Find the probability of getting at least 7 hits and next one 6 hits. See here is the solution. P is equal to the probability of getting a head. Probability of getting a head is half. P is equal to half. And next Q. Q is nothing but probability of not getting a head. Q is equal to probability of not getting a head means time. Q is equal to again half. See here how many coins are thrown? 10 coins are thrown simultaneously. So we have to find the probability of getting at least 7 heads. At least 7 heads. The question here is we have to calculate getting head at least 7 times. See here in this what is our n? n is equal to 10 coins. See here how many coins are there? Total 10 coins are there and so n is equal to 10. And, and also we have p value is equal to half and q is equal to again half. According to the binomial distribution we have a formula that ncr that is probability of uh, x is equal to r is equal to this is ncr p power r and again this is q power n minus r. So using this binomial distribution formula we are going to calculate. So at least 7 means least 7. It can be 8, 9, 10. Maximum there are 10 chances. So at least 10 means probability of x greater than or equal to 7. So which is equal to probability of x is equal to 7 plus probability of x is equal to 8 plus probability of uh, x is equal to 9 plus probability of x is equal to 10. In all these cases here r value is equal to 7. Here r value is equal to 8. Here it is 9 and r value here is 10. Now we have to use this formula. So if I substitute in this formula, see here what is n? n is nothing but 10. So this is 10 c7. What is p? Half half power r what is r here 7 and again q is equal to half power 10 minus 7 so this is 10 minus 7 next here r is equal to 8 this is 10 c 8 p to the power of 8 and next q to the power of n minus r and next one here is see here for r is equal to 9 ncr 9 half to the power of p to the power of r and next q to the power of n minus r n minus r and next one here r is equal to 10 this is 10 c 10 p power r and next q power this is n minus r 10 minus 10 now we have to solve this so see here this will be 10 c 7 half power 7 and next one this is half power 10 minus 7 so which is equal to 3 and next 10 c 8 so this is half power 8 and next this is half power 10 minus 8 is square and next one 10 c 9 this is p power 9 and next q power this is 10 minus 9 this value is 1 and next value here is 10 c 10 this is half power 10 and next this is half power 10 minus 10 the value here is 0. Now I am going to calculate all these values. So see here what is 10c7? 10c7 value is nothing but see here the difference here is 10 minus 7 is 3. So 3 backward steps that is 10 into 9 into 8 by Friend steps 1 into 2 into 3. And here this is half power 7 plus 3. The value here is 10. 
and next 10 minus 8 the difference is 2 and therefore 10 into 9 by 2 friend steps that is 1 into 2 and this is half part this is 8 plus 2 again this is 10 and next 10 c9 the difference here is 1 so 10 by 1 factorial and this is half to the power of 10 and next one 10 c 10 0 so it, it it value is equal the difference here is 0 and this is 1 times of half power 10 so this is half power 10 and now see here i'll cancel this so this goes in 5 times and see in 3 table this is 3 and see this goes in 5 times see here this is 15 into 8 the value here is 120 into 1 by 2 power 10 plus this is 9 Pfizer this value is 45 into half power 10 and this is 10 into 1 by 2 power 10 and this is 1 time 1 by 2 power 10 and see if I take half power 10 common then see so the values here are first value is 120 45 10 and 1 now I have to add up all these values that is 120 plus 45 plus 10 plus 1 so here the value is half to the power of 10 and 120 plus 45 plus 10 plus 1 here the value is so if I add all these the value will be 176 and next see here this is 176 by 2 power 10 that is 1024 and so the value here is 0 0.1719 therefore the probability of getting at least 7 heads that is probability of x greater than or equal to 7 when 10 coins are thrown is 0 0.1719 so this is how we have to solve and see here the next question is also very clear what is the probability of getting at least 6 heads when 10 coins are thrown simultaneously so here the same question at least 6 heads see the solution 2 here will be solution 2 at least 6 heads at least 6 heads means least 6 maximum 10 so here n value is equal to 10 so minimum 6 heads we need and maximum 10 therefore the question here will be the probability of x greater than or equal to x greater than or equal to 6 so now we have to calculate till 7 that is probability of uh, x is equal to 6 plus probability of x is equal to 7 plus probability of x is equal to 8 plus probability of x is equal to 9 plus probability of x is equal to 10 just now we got the value from 7 till 10 so all this value is ready from solution 1 that is 0 0.1719 so it is needed to calculate now the value that is probability of x greater than or equal to 6 is nothing but ncr x x power n minus r and next y power r see here the value here is ncr x power r and next y power r that is 10 minus 6 plus the value here is from 7 till 7 till 10 the value here is 0 0.17 0 0.1719 and see here this value so this is the difference between 10 and 4 is 10 and 6 is 4 so 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 4 backward steps divided by 4 front steps 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 and this is half power 6 so this is half power 6 and this is half power 10 minus 6 that is 4 plus 0 0.1719 now i can easily cancel this one in two table and this in three table and see this in two table so this is 15 52 is a 30 and 37 sir this is 210 into half power 10 plus this is 0 0.1719 so this value is nothing but 0 0.205078 
plus 0 0.1719 therefore the value here is 0 0.376978 therefore the probability of getting at least six hits is nothing but 0 0.376978 so this is how we have to solve and this is also very easy. See total 10 coins are thrown simultaneously and we have to find the probability of getting seven head, at least 7 heads and 6 heads. So first of all the probability of getting a head is half, probability of uh, not getting a head is half and at least 7 heads means here n is equal to 10, p is equal to half and q is equal to half. Least 7 maximum we have uh, 10 chances of getting heads. Probability of x is equal to 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. So, this is the answer for at least getting 7 heads when 10 coins are thrown simultaneously. And the next question here is at least 6 heads. 6 till 10. So, all this value is ready and therefore 10 c6. NCR, P power R, Q power N minus R. So, this is the final answer. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.